exercise our right to artistic license today on Make It Artsy. Hi, I'm Julie Faye Fan Balzer. Now, Georgia O'Keeffe was a master at taking really simple objects like flowers and then enlarging them to really just open your mind up to what you were seeing, sort of a common everyday object that you've seen. Now, I'm gonna take this process and kind of roll it around in something else. So, it's easy to do. You're gonna start with a simple photograph. And you can see I have this picture right here, just with some flowers on my kitchen counter, nothing exciting. And I've just now focused and cropped in on a smaller section. And then in my painting, I cropped in even tighter to really focus in on a little bit of detail. And if you looked at this, you would never think, hey, that started as a flower. So an easy way to play with it. The one that we're gonna be doing today, again, I started with a simple photograph and then I enlarged a section of it right here and then I actually made my crop sort of, I have a square canvas, so it's a square crop and it's not a photographic representation, it's just an interpretation. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that and let's go ahead and do it. Now, I'm gonna work with a single paintbrush and we're gonna make this happen. So I'm actually gonna start with my background. I'm gonna start with some purple and some black mixed together, and then maybe throw a little bit of green in there. Don't be afraid of mixing your colors together, because when I look at this, this is kind of the series of colors that I see. Now, you don't have to worry. You don't have to be able to paint in order to do this. You just need to have a willing spirit and to be willing to play around, because nobody is gonna see the original photograph that's inspiring your beginnings here. They're only gonna see your finished abstract work, which they'll never be able to to guess what it is. So I am mixing both heavy bodied and fluid paints together, just playing around and having fun with this. I do like for some of this where I'm putting the paint on nice and thick to use something called Scraffito, which is just to get some of the texture in here. I'm just gonna clean off my brush because we're gonna go in and do the leaf in the center. And one of the reasons that the leaf is a great one to do with the Scraffito technique is because you really can see the veining in the leaf when you scratch in. So if I just start to scratch in, it creates those veins in a really nice, delicate way. And if we look at the finished piece, you can see how all of that Scraffito is really evident, even in picking up some of the little twigs that were on the ground it is my own artistic interpretation of that photograph, just like Georgia O'Keeffe.